Hi, my name is Doug Strickler and we're going to take you for a tour of my 1991 RV converted school bus. Come on inside. Here we have little pull holes, and inside we have uh, blankets, uh, curtains, dirty laundry, and all the things that you would find in a tiny home. Um, here we have the inside uh, storage water tank. This holds the 40 gallons, and as long as you keep the inside warm, it will not freeze. Over on this side is more storage. We have a small solar uh, panel here for like a trickle charge when we're just hanging out dry camping fire extinguisher, some food, things like that. Over here we have a plethora of blankets. That's completely full, so I'm not gonna pull them out, but that's all sorts of blankets in case we don't have any heat for some reason. It's really cold, it's nice to have extra backup. All right, next I'm gonna take you for a tour of the sound system. We have eight six inch Rockford Fosgate speakers up here. We have two 12 inch Rockford Fosgate subs and two amps underneath the front bench. There's a cup holder in each corner of all the tables. There's 12 in this bus. Here we have a candle holder slash plant holder. It's just decorative and you can change it up and put different things. It also holds a bottle of wine quite nicely. These tables, there are two levels on each side. There are outlets in the back corners of each one. There's 36 outlets. And these in this bus that you can plug any sort of accessories back here I have like a shaver electric toothbrush and some uh, battery chargers over there along with our towels and some normal stuff like that on this side we have an electric heater we have our gas heater which is built into a stone wall so when this thing's fired up it really uh, heats up the stone and makes the bus real nice and warm this is kind of like a dining area where we have uh, jars of food oatmeal craisins all that healthy stuff fresh fruit back here full working fridge got going on here which is electric doors are custom made you have to lift them up to pull them out so they don't slide out coming back a little further this is our bathroom here we have the moon door inside is a full working bathroom you have your toilet and it's also your shower combo as you can see here the shower head the mirror and your uh, tub for all your uh, soaps and things like that. This is all PVC plastic in here so when you do turn the shower on this, this is like a steam room. Here we have a little electric stove top heater which works good with our generator or if you're plugged into power. Coffee maker this thing is a must and everything is cork top to keep things quiet with lips so that nothing slides off. Here we have all wood dishware and our this is our like dish holder. Oh, we picked a tiny little bar sink. Uh, it's fully functioning, hot water. Um, we also have a water filtration system here so you can be out in the desert for a week have, with your 100 gallons of water. You can have fresh water. Here's our cupboards for extra food storage. On this side, this is our uh, trash can, our hot water heater and some cleaning supplies are all in there. On this side, we have our closet. I wanted a big closet because I have a lot of clothes. So take a look in here. I built a full upper section for all the top parts of my clothes. All my pants, socks, skivvies are down there. Hat rack at top. And then we have the LED lights shining through here. So whatever the LED lights are doing, you can see them right through the closet. Back here, this garage is 8 foot wide by 9 foot long. I have a full size uh, 600cc sport bike. This is my stunt bike. <laughs> I have it tied into a wheel chalk up front. You can hook another wheel chalk in on this side. There's eight tie down hooks that flip right out of the floor. Uh, you can put three motorcycles back here. The garage has uh, all the LED lights that come through uh, the whole way back. We have the helmet hooks on each side of the big mirror here. Uh, of course, Betty Cat getting in the uh, picture. Here's uh, hanger hooks for jackets and bags and things like that over here. Uh, again, these are all cork 
um, walls you can put tacks in and, and hang up whatever you want. Helmet rack. Again, the sound system coming through. Beanbag chairs for lounging back here. Now I'm going to show you how to turn the front benches into a California king bed. Uh, this bus has lots of bins and features that we built on the outside of it. Here's one of them. This is how we, here we have the uh, extra cords and stuff like that. We have a charger, our flare kit, and all the hookups for our inverter. This is a factory door that came with it. These are the two uh, batteries that start the bus. All right, right here we have the uh, water hookup that all RVs have. You can hook any city water hose up to it and fill the tanks. We have two water tanks, one inside that won't freeze uh, in storage conditions, and then one outside. The one inside is 40 gallons. The one underneath is 60 gallons, so we can hold a total of 100 gallons of fresh water. Uh, here's all the black water hookups for dumping the tanks. We have the gray water tank, of course, the black water tank, because uh, we have the toilet and the full bathroom on the inside. Back of the bus, we have a trailer hitch that comes right out of the bumper that I designed and we have bolted on here. Uh, we also have a flat toe system hooked up that I haul my van, which holds our dirt bikes, our generator, our BMX bikes, and some other things like that. On the right side of the bus, we have more storage areas here. Uh, Inside we have extra chairs, uh, your dump tank tube, road cones, extra tie-down straps, tools, some other things that you need for uh, cross-country trips. Here's the front bin on the right side of our bus. In here we have extra fuel containers, diesel cans, uh, motor oil. This is where our propane tanks are that help do the water heater. And then back here we have our four RV batteries. They're four deep cycle Duracells and they hold a charge for a couple days we can run our refrigerator and some other things like the radio and interior lights with them.